Good morning. <clears throat> About 20 after 9 on the 18th of June, 2019. E from marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. Risky business, as we know. And a reminder, check out our website. We do have uh, some ideas as to patterns and programs and like to team up with other traders too. So anybody that has uh, people they know of that would like to collaborate, let us know and we will see what we can do. And as always, use risk capital you can afford to lose. Well, we've had a barn burner overnight, haven't we? <clears throat> I like to see the previous highs taken out. That's one of the axioms. You look for the first target, like that 12 and a half. <clears throat> but if you're on trailers or if you believe that you've got some time before the open, then first things first, you're trying to knock out that prior high. Doesn't have to be by much, but it's usually going to be at least a couple of ticks above that prior high. Breakouts back here at 02. We talked about that yesterday. This might become a third time through trade. It has. <clears throat> We've got um, the overnight range. Peter had made a great call about his 89. If, if it got back to that 89, that would be a place to have interest in buying. Everybody has a different system, and, and that's a good thing. You have to find ways that work for you. Uh, for me, that level lined up with several things, and, and one of the primary ideas was this 88 level, 87 and a half, <clears throat> which I, I like to see visible evidence on a chart. And, and I look for it a little differently than Peter does. But for me, that level, which is why I called 88 support last night, is based on that 60% level uh, in the pipe and a level that I know to be very supportive normally. We've talked about that before, the importance of 82s to 85s as support. And then you've got to really penetrate back into and below 88. 87 and a half if you want any further uh, backside and that held and that's why yesterday I said you know I, I doubt we'll even break the 92s but if we do 88s our support and then obviously these uh, lower lows and obviously if we take that out then that 82 becomes important but not yet <clears throat> so overnight if we're looking at a chart that really showed some power uh, this this five minute chart currently is the one I've been watching, but the backdrop is really the thirty. There's the power chart, and and it's clear, clear, on the thirteenth, clear. It's still above it. Chop, chop. Note how they knock out all the longs, the wannabe longs overnight and then go without them and run the stops. And you can see where we had put our lines yesterday. We said this 95, we're gonna follow, and we're gonna follow this, this two, 275 up here. One, <clears throat> two, third time through trade right here. Bang. So the crumbs are left, unfortunately, and, and we've got to accept that. If, if you don't have a system in play, play overnight, and you want to sleep, then you can't complain. You've got to say, that's a choice I'm making, and I'll find what I can. Very frustrating for most traders, but that's the reality of, of trading. So the question now becomes, what do you want to do about it? <clears throat> I say today is a day you try to buy pullbacks, and if they don't work, they don't work. You've got to be a bot, buy high, sell higher. So some of you already took that advice and just jumped in and said, okay, if we're going to target 1675, 17 and a half, let's just play that. Because the rabbit, the rabbit dog days will kill you if you fight them. And then you'll get one good trade about five to seven points, and then you'll get another one, maybe 10. But, but usually 
it, you're going to be fighting the system all day long if you don't get in sync with the market. Here's our 10. So I'm, I'm already suggesting that this 10 to, to 9 area got to be supportive until broken. And that's a hard thing to accept, but today could be just as choppy as yesterday, only at a new level. And this is typically the fed up, you know, where you just get this type of swing out of nowhere and up and then have to do some damage after the FOMC, but up into the FOMC. So we're range trading target today, 17 and a half. Next target I'm looking at is 22 resistance. So we're starting with 22 to 18 as our immediate resistance. And those are targets for the long side. And we're going to use this baby right here. Support until broken at your squeeze pivot. That breaks. Guess what? Here's your squeeze pivot back here. Retesting that, that breakout. So, so this is our controlling pivot right here. Simple as that. Don't even have to think about it. Until that goes, long side is in control. Intraday. <clears throat> it's nine and a quarter, nine and a half. This this level right here. This is <clears throat> your intraday first aggressive support level below our <clears throat> twelves. Forty back currently is back at six fifty. Back at two and a half. Obviously, this kicker overnight. No support built up. At some point, we need to get back here and retest these. But for now, longs have trapped the shorts and we'll be squeezing. Anybody that shorts today, you probably will get one lucky short. I doubt you'll get two. And the reality of that is that we've got about a 1% move already. We've got um, RTY. Has hit its target. This, this is a target line that we've got, right? We can go to any high. Obviously, the next high over here is the next target to take that guy out. There's a squeeze. There's a wedge. We talked about that the other day. This is a third time through here. You can see it, that blue line. And so step by step, the market is going through the revolutions. Anybody that is long side, long and strong, coming into the open, make sure you are paid. So I'm thinking we're going to have stolen range and probably a fairly small opening range. <clears throat> Twelve and a half is our demon. Ninety-two and a quarter, the angel. And right now I'm using this as our support pivot, 02 and a half. And we'll need to see a general push back. We have not seen any evidence of that yet, none. So I'd be conservative short side. <clears throat> I don't think the high is in, but I think we may be fairly close. And you can tell with very light volume, this is a this is a rollover pattern where we come back up and, and we get to these prior highs. And if ever shorts are going to try to fill their positions, they'd rather fill them back here at these highs. Come a long way and we're still... <clears throat> Still driving, and, and I would have to say that <clears throat> FOMC has yet again shown the power of buying into it. <clears throat> 